Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for being here. My name's Austin Ross. I've been a welder for about 15 years. And here on this channel, I share tips and tricks about rig welding. And I absolutely love learning and I love sharing my mistakes and what I learn with people like yourself. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some tips on how I fit smaller pipe in between bigger pipe when using a store-bought template like we have here. As you can see, it fits good when you got the same sizes of pipe that you're tying together. But if you're tying into a bigger piece of pipe, you've got a little gap, see, right here in your throat. So therefore, you need to adjust your fit a little bit. I'm also gonna be sharing how I measure in between two posts when building fence to get an exact measurement. I believe between that and a good fit, your fence building will go way nicer. All right, last but not least, there they are, or there it is. Two post, one brace, right here at the end of the fence line. We got our water rig trailing behind us. Oh yeah. I'm assuming you're watching this video because you are the DIY type or maybe you've been building fence your whole life around the family farm and you're just looking for more efficient, more enjoyable ways of building fence. Either way, you're in the right place because my wife and I have created an online pipe fence course that is broke down into bite-sized pieces. It includes everything from the design of a pipe fence, the logistics, the business side of things, and it will be open for enrollment in March of 2022. So depending on when you're watching this video, if you're watching it when it is first published, that is just in a few weeks, you can go to arosswelding.school and punch in your email. This will allow you to get a notification whenever the pipe fence course is open for enrollment. Okay, so one thing that should help you when measuring in between two pieces of pipe to get a real accurate measurement, on every tape, there should be a measurement of how long the tape is right here. And this one is three and a half inches. So you should be able to just measure in between your two posts like so. And then whatever it is right here. So we got right here, we got 16 and an eighth, 16 and an eighth plus three and a half. That should be my exact measurement. Once I get my measurement between my post, before I pull my measurement on my horizontal, I like to go ahead and cut one saddle and then measure from my throat. That way it's more accurate.
so if my measurement was 16 or 19 and a half actually I would pull from my throat there and then I would mark 19 and a half get over here eyeball my saddle just like I talked about in last week's video if you haven't seen it there's several different ways to line up your saddles but I normally just eyeball it and then I put my template on the other side again putting my throat on the mark this way my measurement is the same and then whatever I do with my ears it doesn't affect my my measurement cut it go see how it fits and then on the next brace if it doesn't fit good assess why it doesn't fit good and then on your next brace make an adjustment all right so on this particular project I am using two and seven eighths horizontals and I'm tying into four inch OD pipe so therefore if we were going to be using this template we would have a gap in our throats so the terms I'm using or that I know the only terms I know is this is considered a throat and this part is considered the ear so whenever I first started building fence to figure this out I just took my template I set it up against here and I just made sure this was essentially a 90 or I would make sure my gaps and my throats were even with each other and I would literally just using my eyeball I would eyeball that distance that gap and I would just trim it right off my ear now that's just a good starting point that's going to get you close one thing that's going to affect your fit is the wall thickness of your pipe so obviously this template is real thin compared to some pipe you may be using, especially oil filled pipe, it's gonna be probably three times this thick. So that's gonna affect your, your gap here and there. But what I recommend is starting with that technique and then seeing how it fits and then just adjust the next one. You might find out that you need to trim instead of 3 16 you might need to trim a quarter or 5 16 off. I literally just throw my template on, mark it using my soapstone and then on each of my ears, I will literally just make a mark like so on each side. This way it gives me something to follow whenever I'm, whenever I'm cutting. Last one bites the dust. This is the last brace for this job. Now I've got to go through here. There's about four or five, I can't remember how many, just single posts that I got to go through and cut off cap and then put clips on. What those single posts do is they keep, they either keep the wire down in a valley or up on top of a hill. And then uh, the clips just keep the wire, you know, in line with the rest of it. So. Um, got to do that and then I got to hang a couple of gates and then this project will be in better shape.
but we'll save those projects for another day. Don't forget to head on over to arosswelding.school if you're interested in learning about the pipe fence course that will be open for enrollment next month, March 2022. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all your support. And remember, learn something every day.